What's good with y'all? Welcome back to Planet Rail. We have a new series from Image Comics by Donny Case and Ryan Stegman. The same team who brought us Venom, Absolute Carnage, and King in Black. We got Vanish, issue one. Let's get into it. So here we start out, we have a man walking through an alley late at night coming home from the bar. And we see that he has a drinking problem since he has to lie to his wife about how much beer he brings home. Then he mentions some crazy things that he has to take just to fall asleep. And I know you peeped it too. There was somebody up there watching him. I'm like, who is this? Now there's a man behind him with a bat following him in the alley, but he doesn't see him. So he continues to talk about the things he has to take throughout the day to stay calm. And he says this is his reward for saving the world when he was 14. Then he gets hit with the bat by the man who was following him. He continues to talk in his head and he says, behold, the chosen one. And I'm like, hmm, what happened in his past? What did he mean by that? And that piqued my interest. So I was eager to find out. And now he's getting beat up and robbed. And remind you, he's drunk, so he throws up. Now the main character's name is revealed. His name is Oliver Harrison. And the robbers are talking about going to his house and seeing what he got. And the character that was watching him from above says, how about we go to the emergency room instead? Or the morgue. He is talking about deleting people, bro. <laughs> This is crazy. And now we see that his name is Battle Rocket. Then he takes these dudes up in the sky, flies around and just slams them into the ground. And as you can see, they are done. Now Oliver is saying the impossible is happening because his sigil on his chest is burning. And Oliver is still talking about how it's impossible that his sigil is burning. But me, I'm looking at the fact that Battle Rocket, number one, he killed two people. Then he starts smoking. I'm like, bro, sum up, bro. Like, nah, this ain't no kid, bro. I'm like, hold on, nah. This, he ain't no kid. So now Oliver realizes who this person is and Battle Rocket is trying to play it off. But Oliver realizes like who he really is and that must be a reason why his sigil is burning. And Battle Rocket is shook because of it. So now we come to a whole nother part of the story. The Mistlands of Everkeep, the Outworld of Magic. This is where Oliver grew up at. He went to school here studying magic and honing his skills at it. And then when he turned 14, that's when the war started. Now we're introduced to several new characters. We get Baron Vanish and his crew called The Hollow. And he's already making his presence known. I looked at his hand, I'm like, yeah, he finna do something. And he says, if the headmaster will not listen, then we will make him see. Then he blows up the city where Oliver is from. And the headmaster sees it and he knows that it was Vanish. And now he's telling the kids at the school to prepare for war because Vanish is going to come there. Now the headmaster says, while other kids were learning math and history, they was being branded with the house sigil. And that made me laugh because he really said, while y'all was in the house, we was outside. So now we see the headmaster preparing them for this war. And we see that Oliver is not there because he asked for him. And with Oliver's narration of what's going on, he tells us that even if the kids step out of line, there were a lot of punishments. And if they broke one of the sacred ancient laws, there was instant, immediate death. Oliver broke two ancient laws that day. And to sum up one of the rules that Oliver broke, students cannot go in this room called the Dark Arcana and they can't use anything in there. But Oliver does not care because when Vanish exploded that city, his parents died with it. So as he searches the room, he grabs this thing called the Oraculum, and you can see the future with it. And he knew he had to do something because he is the chosen one. And when he had his vision, he saw Vanish ruling the world. And at that moment, he knew what he had to do. So now Vanish and the Hollow show up to the school. And we see that Vanish used to be a student there. And the headmaster blames himself because Vanish used to be under his wing. And he said that he should have been a better teacher to Vanish. Then the headmaster attacks Vanish. And then Vanish tells the headmaster, rest easy. Then he kills the headmaster, bro. He just blew this man's body in half. Now he's telling the kids that they can join him if they want to. And this girl, Eleanor, steps up to him and uses her magic against him. And tells him just to shut up and leave. Now Vanish realizes that Eleanor's dad used to be a part of the Hollows, but I'm assuming he killed him 
which he probably did because he said he couldn't keep his mouth shut. So now Vanish yanks up Eleanor, and at the same time, we see the second rule that Oliver broke. And it says that no student can enter the world of citizenry without express supervision. Now someone yells to let her go, and Vanish is like, who is you? And we see that it's Oliver, and he says that he's going to be the last person that Vanish will see. And it also says that you will receive the punishment of death if you break rule two. And now we got Vanish saying that no magic in the world can hurt him. Now Oliver pulls out the Blake and he shoots Vanish in the head. And now Oliver is saying that day he was supposed to die because that was his destiny. And I'm like, maybe the Hollows were supposed to kill him after that, but they ran off. And now he pissed and he wants to kill them. Now we back in the present and we see Oliver just ram Battle Rocket's face into the wall. And then Battle Rocket tells Oliver that he's going to tell his team that he finally shown himself. And Oliver tells him, I wasn't hiding. I was waiting and dreaming for this moment right here. Now Oliver swings and misses, but Battle Rocket flies in the sky and he starts talking. And we see that Oliver married Eleanor. And Battle Rocket continues to say stuff to piss Oliver off. Then he gets rocked. And now we see who Battle Rocket really is. His name is Balan Constance, and he was a member of the Hollow. Then he attacks Oliver, and Battle Rocket really think he won. Mm -mm. Psych. Oliver just yokes him up with his chains. Crazy. And Oliver starts to stomp him out, and he takes his signet ring because it'll give him more power. Now Oliver is sober, and Balan Constance comes out of his Battle Rocket form. Now he tells Oliver that they were there for somebody else, and that they've changed, and he begs Oliver not to kill him. But Oliver deletes him anyway. Now Oliver is at home, and he says the word home feels alien to him, like he's been dreaming. But now he's awake, and he says that he's never closing his eyes again. Now Oliver goes to check on Eleanor, and he wants to tell her what happened, and that the visions he saw as a kid are real, and that he loves her, and that he is at home. But he says he can't. Not until the mission is done, and then he uses his magic to call for his cloak. He's kept it down there hidden for years, saying it's like his own dark arcana, and he said he would never use it unless he needed to end the world. Now Oliver is getting his suit and stuff together and he's thinking back on a time where Orin, the headmaster, used to talk highly of him and say that he was destined for great things, that he was the chosen one, and that he would always vanquish evil no matter what form or shape it takes. And Oliver says the Hollow are back. They've taken a new form and they're pretending to be superheroes. And then we see a billboard with the Hollow members and they're now known as the Prestige. And since the Hollow want to be superheroes now, Oliver says that it's his turn to be the bad guy. So that was Vanish issue one. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Like and subscribe. I appreciate y'all for coming through and watching though. But yeah, God bless. I'm out.